In today's episode, Total Grandma Type, The User Bubble of Alternate Reality. This mouse doesn't work. I need a Surface Pro. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Total Grandma Type. So this is a short and sweet story, but I love spreading positivity. So, I get an email ticket from one of our users yesterday very brief. No body, subject just reads VPN. I email back, asking for more information, asking for error messages, things like that. I get a reply, once again with no information, just reading broken. Great, one of those types. The ones who are so impatient that it isn't worth their time to write proper emails. Oh, I call the number in their signature and brace myself for the shortness, rudeness, impatientness, etc. He user answers the call with the sweetest old lady voice you could imagine. Hello, this is username. Dot. Hello, username, this is you slash Nujdak with company name. How are you today? Oh, hello, you slash Nujdak. I am doing much better now that you are calling. Do you think you can fix my problem? I was surprised. Been a while since I've heard that much sweetness. Well, I'll certainly try. Can I jump on your computer to take a look? Absolutely. Please do. Do whatever you need to. I hop on and start taking a look at the issue. Goodness, I can't believe how fast you're going. You IT guys always impress me with how smart you are. Especially compared to stupid people like me. Hearing her put herself down like that broke my heart. Hey now. I say. We don't use words like that. I just have experience. If you guys didn't need help, I wouldn't have a job. It's not your job to know how to fix this. A few minutes later, I solve the issue and get her working properly. You're already finished. Yes ma'am, I've seen this issue before, so I knew how to resolve it. I can practically hear the smile in her voice. I am so glad you guys do our IT now. Our last IT provider was horrible, always rude and took so long to get back. Thank you so much you slash Nujdak, you've been a really big help. Lady, you're gonna give me a cavity. The next day I got a review back from her, as my company sends out automated reviews once a ticket is closed. The, the review was marked overwhelmingly positive, and the text read my new best friend you slash Nujdak got the issue fixed lickety split. Fast, friendly service. That's why I love company name. Keep it up. I'm still riding the high off of that call, and I wanted to share, as it is experiences like this that remind me why I do this job. For every rude customer out there, there's always going to be that one that makes it worthwhile. The user bubble of alternate reality. Most of my immediate and extended family live within 60 miles of each other except for one family who lives most of the way across the country. Because of this, it's a pretty big deal when they find the time and money to fly in and visit. A few weeks ago, exactly this happened, and there were plenty of family get-togethers as a result. Interestingly, the out-of-town uncle-in-law's family also lives near the rest of us, so a few of those events included many of his relatives that I'm not familiar with. So I'm technically at an event with strangers, but it feels like family which is what I'm blaming for my guard being down. Dollar me, so, what do you do? Dollar stranger, I'm a dermatologist. Dollar me, interesting. I've heard that's the best income versus emergency field of medicine to be in. Is that true? Do you ever get dermatological emergencies? Dollar stranger, laughs, no, you might be right. Unfortunately, you still get plenty of people stopping you asking for free medical advice and as a dermatologist, it's never something you want to see and rarely something you want to talk about. Dollar me, oh god, that's got to be terrible. I feel your pain what is it about some professions that make people act so rude. I have stylist friends and I've never asked for a free haircut. Dollar stranger, I don't know. So what is it that you do? Dollar me, I'm an IT. Technically, I'm a network engineer. Dollar stranger, oh. So I have this laptop that's been running slow, what do you think is the problem? Dollar me. This mouse doesn't work. 
a short and fun one. I'm the head of IT at a medical facility, and I was doing my daily walkthrough today, because people tend to forget something's wrong until they see the one responsible for it, when I was stopped by one of our newly hired front desk staff, $FD1. MF9769, she says, this computer's mouse doesn't work. So I turn around and look at the computer she's pointing to, and it's clearly got a brand new wireless mouse, you'll have probably guessed where this is going right about now. Those batteries last months, so it can't be a dead battery. So I walk up and start moving the mouse around, at which point I hear, from about 5 feet away, $FD2, MF9769. You're moving my mouse. Of course I am. I go over to $FD2 and ask $FD2. Did you take anything from the other desk and she points at her keyboard, which I know comes as part of a set with the non-working mouse. Apparently, she was smart enough to unplug the dongle and take the keyboard, but not to take the mouse, nor unplug the dongle from her computer in order to actually switch keyboards. Naturally, I did what was needed and then asked the eternal question when something like this happens, why? I like that keyboard more. Dash dollar FD2. I need a Surface Pro. In my last workplace, we issued HP EliteBook 840G6 as our mainstream laptops and Surface Pros, generally to execs and some of the staff that traveled a lot. We started to get users requesting Surface Pros, usually claiming that they had back issues and transporting a heavy laptop was causing them issues. My approach to that was to have them bring their laptop bag into me, so that I could get them sorted out. They would front up, expecting a new Surface. Instead, I'd make them remove everything from their laptop bag, with the exception of the 840 and its charger. Then I'd make them compare it to a Surface Pro, with accessories, in the same type of bag, before telling them to FCK off there was less than 200G difference, when you included the type cover, mouse, and a couple of dongles, and all the excessive weight was all the other crap that they were cramming into their laptop bags.